Welcome back to Inflow Technologies Day in the Life PDM User Series. I'm Nit Sweeney, and today let's talk about checking files in and out with SolidWorks PDM. When we want to view files, all we have to do is double click. But what if we want to change it? PDM is designed so that only one user can modify a file at a time. To ensure this, you have to check out a file when you want to change it and check it back in when you're finished. Let's take this assembly here for example. If I want to change something at the assembly level, maybe add a new component, fit some mates, or even change some properties, I need to check it out. Option one is to right click on the file and select check out. Alternatively, I can click on the check out icon at the top. But in this case, I'm going to double click on the file and check it out from SolidWorks. Note that if you're in PDM Professional, this will work for virtually any file type, Office, SolidWorks, DraftSite, you name it. But if you're in PDM Standard, you need to make sure to check it out from Windows Explorer before you open your file. The checkout dialog shows a list of the assembly structure and it's asking which files to check out. Now I only need to check out files that I'm going to change. So that means that all of these subcomponents can be left alone while I work on the assembly. Now I'm going to make a change. Even though I'm suppressing a component, that component itself didn't change, just it's standing in the assembly. Once I'm done, I can put the check in button in the SOLIDWORKS task pane. This pane exists for many programs with SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional. For PDM Standard, you'll have to check the file back in from Windows Explorer as well. I had to add a comment as well, these are important for tracking the history of a component in PDM. And no need to save the part now, since I did that with the check-in, so I'll close SOLIDWORKS. Refresh Windows Explorer, and see that my assembly is checked in again. 